Hello, I'm Anivan Fangs, and recently I have been challenged to create a panda using cauldrons. Now I didn't even know cauldron art was a thing. So、uh, if you don't know, this is what this was the message. Yeah, I I was tasked with creating a panda using cauldrons. So in one point seventeen, you could actually place snow in cauldrons. So I think I'm gonna use this mechanic. To create a panda, I'm not. I'm not sure if this is possible, but I'm going to try anyways. All right, I've got my panda right here sitting in his fence. Oh no! Look at me! Look at me, panda! God, God damn it! <laughs> uh, let Let me see your face. There we go. So I think the white spots are going to have to be the snow cauldrons. Oh God damn it! Can you look at me, panda? All right, and the black spots are just going to be normal cauldrons. So let's attempt to make the panda face. So I'm just gonna start by laying out a nice square, full of cauldrons. All right, I have my cauldron square here, and I'm just filling in the last few cauldrons with the snow bucket. There we go. I think this should be the, our foundation for the panda face. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like it right now because I haven't filled up the details. So let's try to get the eyes here. Um, do we do we do this? I'm I'm not sure. Oh, that looks horrible. Nope, nope. I'm scrapping this. Some tweaking later, and I've got myself this thing. Does it look like a panda? Not really. But if I told you it was a panda, you could probably see it, right? Um, yeah. This, this is, this is awful. I'm, I'm gonna try this again, but hopefully it will be, it will turn out slightly better than this one. And now this just looks creepy. <laughs> this is horrible. I'm, I'm gonna redo that. Now I think size is the problem, so I'm just gonna go with a very small design here, just like that. Maybe a five by five will be sufficient. So here we go. We have a four by four, and now we have a five by five. Alright, let's see.、Uh, Panda, can you look at me? That yes, good boy. Now,、um, will this be enough? I'm not sure. Whoa. So I'm gonna try to do this five by five and tell you guys how it turned out. I mean. It isn't the worst, but I mean it actually looks kind of cute. It actually looks better than that one and that horrible one. Yeah, I think size was the problem, but now I think this is way too small. So let's go bigger. And when I say bigger, I mean not just the face. I want to add the body as well, because you know this wouldn't be a proper challenge if we didn't do the cauldron art of the entire panda, right? So let's do that right now. Calm down, everyone. I know you think this may not look like a panda right now, but it is still in the stages of editing. So I'm just placing down cauldrons to fill up this entire panda silhouette, and I hope this works. Lots of cauldron placing later, and we finally got the shape of the panda. Now for the head, I'm actually just using that head. It's over here, just slightly bigger, because I'm more used to creating the heads of the panda, as you can see, than the actual body. So I'm gonna try by doing the head first, and then sort of shaping up the body. So let's do that. This looks amazing. This actually looks amazing. I can actually tell this is a panda now. Um, I'm not sure though. The the face sort of looks off centered. I think I built the entire body off centered, but I'm too lazy to redo it anyways. <laughs> so I think I gotta give the head a little tilt by just sort of bringing these eyes down by one one cauldron, I guess. And then we gotta add a pattern around the panda. You know that white and black stripes around the panda. So yeah, I'm gonna bring the eyes down and then do that. And now the eyes look weird. Yeah, bringing the th bringing them down by one quadrant wasn't a good idea. Now the eyes look extremely extremely weird. Nope, this is horrible. I'm bringing them back. And this should be it, I think. I mean, look at the panda. I'm okay. You know what? Let's let's just bring the Strike down a little bit. There we go. Now it sort of wraps around the body, and I think this looks extremely good. Now I obviously used reference from this panda over here to sort of make the face, but the body now that was freestyled. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Good bye.